Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna build a B Core V2 uh, F3 Evo uh, Tiny Whoop, and uh, with it I'm going to uh, put a uh, 5.8G 48 channel uh, VTX camera from Ishin. Um, as you can see here, uh, I have already uh, used this mount for this camera. I had to put some foam because this mount was uh, too big for the camera I couldn't uh, put it in so I made this uh, contraption here with the foam uh, and then we have this cable here soft silicone cable with this connector that I'm probably gonna have to cut out and then I got the uh, frame this is a clear frame for the tiny whoop is the lightest frame that you can buy uh, and uh, so then again this motors these are the race stars uh, 15 millimeters motors they are 59,000 rpm uh, coilless motor and in here we got the uh, actual uh, board and a bunch of stuff so uh, you can see there's the board here and it comes with a, a three different type of connectors we got the lossy lossy connector i don't know how to pronounce and this uh two pin uh which is the one i'm gonna use so and in here we got uh some spacers some rubber spacers and some screw and from the manual here you can see that it shows the video uh the the cables video in video out ground and the uh and the power so uh first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to cut out this connector because I cannot use it directly so I'm gonna have to solder uh, each individual cable here um, so what now uh, first off let's clip off a little bit okay so uh, after I've done that I'm gonna insert uh, you can see here on the board basically from this side let me zoom in uh, you can see it says 5 volt ground video in and video out um, next to the pins so you you simply have to put the corresponding cable that you saw before uh, in the image in the correct uh, place so what you do just insert in here uh, try to be careful and not uh, make it uh, come out while I'm doing this and uh, add a little bit of solder very quickly that uh, this is very very small uh, cable so I'm using a very thin small solder and I'm gonna do the same with the uh, the other uh, the, the other cable it's the video out I believe uh, again it's a bit tricky but uh, I wish I had another pair of hands here to help me but uh, I don't so um, again put a little bit of solder these pins are very close to each other make sure that you don't put the solder uh, that you, you it's not in contact to with each other and do the same with the ground uh, and then with the uh, 5 volts uh, cable and so this is the final soldering it's probably uh, terrible but this is what I come up with uh, so next I'm gonna do the same with the uh, uh, the cable for the battery so first the, uh, the red cable there a little bit of solder and then do the same again uh, with the black cable which is the ground again a little bit of solder there just you don't need to spend much time with the solder just in and out and it's a good idea to try and see if it everything turns up and yeah it seems like both the camera and the board are correctly powering so that's good uh, and next uh, I'm going to clip off this part here of the uh, of the uh, the frame because the battery I'm gonna use it's uh, it's too big um, uh, so then I'm gonna mount the uh, the board 
and I'm gonna put the spacer just to see uh, what uh, how do how am I supposed to uh, put this thing together uh, keep in mind at this point I'm not realizing it yet but um, yeah I'm mounting the camera backwards so face palm there um, I will fix it later but um, yeah keep that in mind so after I put the first screw uh, I'm gonna bind uh, the board to the controller bec because um, the bind button is gonna go right below the camera mount so I need to do it now so to bind it you hold the bind button and then you plug the cable while in bind mode on the Tyrannus and it should stop blinking the lights on the board should stop blinking and in fact they stopped so hopefully that means that uh, the bound went uh, successfully and after that you put the other uh, spacers and uh, and screw and you screw in the uh, the camera mount on the board and yes uh, again I am still I haven't realized yet here that I'm still mounting the camera backward basically that uh, black antenna that sticks out from the uh, uh, from the board that's supposed to be the front uh, but uh, yeah uh, I will fix it later so for the motors make sure that you insert the connector first before uh, uh, pulling the motor inside and then you gonna probably have to use a little bit of strength here to pull the motor in uh, depending on the frame and I'm also using a pair of pliers to help me with this to put this very thin cables inside those ridges uh, in the frame so the cable will be kept and not gonna move around too much and it's gonna become something like this this is just the first motor here and you can see that uh, cables are uh, in place so this is a um, this is how each motor should be uh, put on the board make sure you put them in the correct order and this is how they look uh, at the end so uh, and yes the camera is still mounted backwards uh, I haven't figured this out yet at this point uh, so next I'm gonna put the props on and I have a spare of props from my Ishin toys uh, so I'm gonna use those uh, a couple of different colors and again, uh, looking at the uh, at the draw, make sure that you put the propellers correctly. So, uh, as a general rule, the propeller should spin in the direction of the curved uh, side. So this spins this way, this spins that way. So, and here I finally realized that the camera uh, was mounted backwards. So I'm fixing that, um, placing it basically flipping the camera on the other side and so here it is this is the correct um, placement so now I'm putting a battery here and I'm checking that everything works fine I've got the video the video is working as you can see uh, it's working nicely you can see the uh, beta flight OSD uh, crowded with uh, mostly useless information at this for this craft uh, but uh, by default is there and on the scale this is about 21 between 21 and 22 grams it says 21 but it uh, kind of uh, fluctuates there uh, this is another tiny whoop uh, it's an Ishin E010 I believe and they both uh, they have slightly different components inside they're pretty much the same and this here does not have a camera so it's a little bit lighter uh, as you can see I cut the props on my other quads to get a little bit longer flight time let's try with this battery it's a Ishin 150 milliamps 45c battery uh, I know it's not an high, high volt uh, I have uh, purchased those and I'm waiting for them but at the moment that's what I have it's about 27 grams uh, with the battery Okay, so I'm here in beta flight and I've connected the drone to my computer through the USB. 
so let's go ahead and click connect and here it is um, if I if I grab it and moving around uh, this should move accordingly uh, so just wanted to show you what the default settings are uh, before doing any customization so I click here on the top it says enable expert mode and uh, so I'm gonna go through each screen so you can see what the default settings are for this uh, um, board so uh, these are the settings for uh, USB VCP and then it says serial RX UR3 turn on uh, I have no idea what any of this means so that's good so in the configuration uh, this is these are the default settings again I have not touched anything um, if I scroll down in here uh, you can see it's a S bus um, and let's scroll down uh, the other in the other feature uh, it's everything it by default everything is turned off except the OSD uh, this camera supports the uh, beta flight OSD and uh, there's the beeper configuration I don't think there's a beeper to be honest uh, in this quad um, but uh, these are the default settings uh, power and battery um, I'm probably gonna change these because 3.5 for warning cell voltage is a little bit too high probably bring it down to 3.3 or 3.2 something like that and this is gonna be to 3.1 or something like that um, actually uh, I'm gonna get that that right now I'm gonna go let's go 3.3 and 3.1 something like that um, then you're gonna net you need to hit hit click save every time otherwise it's not gonna save the settings uh, fail safe um, by default is set to drop uh, and these are the uh, PID tuning uh, I have not done I haven't done anything yet uh, and that's because I'm still learning so uh, I don't really know exactly uh, what I'm gonna touch here I'm gonna go and uh, do a, a bit of an experiment with these settings and change the rates and see what happens um, so the receiver at the moment I don't have the receiver plugged in but uh, uh, make sure that your when you configure your, your uh, quad in your receiver make sure that you set to T A E R uh, otherwise you're gonna have uh, all of these are gonna be messed up and uh, yeah this is the only thing that was not on by default I uh, when I test the quad I, I added this so I've got my uh, arm on the uh, auxiliary one uh, this on the auxiliary two which is a three uh, set three switches three position switches uh, I set my mode so uh, when it's uh, all the way up it's gonna be angle mode when it's on the middle it's horizon and by default when it's uh, here uh, it's gonna be uh, it's called anti-gravity but this this one is basically acro acro mode and then I, I set the beeper but uh, I don't think it doesn't have it you know, so it's not working and then uh, I did not touch anything here I don't even know what this is for uh, as well as servos no nothing there motors and OSD okay so in here uh, the beta flight OSD supports a lot of things as you can see from the from this sample here uh, it's cool but it's definitely way too crowded so I'm gonna change this um, to something a little bit more usable uh, I just um, 
uh, I think I'm gonna keep the battery voltage and uh, definitely um, something like uh, let's see what does it have throttle position I don't care GPS speed no I don't have any Japanese altitude no well, I think the majority of this um, can be de deactivated um, for this squad home direction home distance compass bar yeah I mean ESC temperature I don't think I have this stuff um, so I'm gonna turn the majority of this off um, and sensors uh, gyroscope yeah no, I haven't I'm not touching anything here tether logging I don't know what this is uh, black box um, also I don't know what this is and uh, CLI is the console so yeah uh, this was just a quick view uh, I probably just gonna go and customize a little bit this uh, OSD and that's about it so uh, after that we're gonna try and fly so here it is I'm uh, flying in uh, Acro a little bit just outside my house um, I'm keeping all the settings by default at the moment I'm just want to try out of the box uh, I'm I'm going pretty slow uh, not used to these rates here uh, so basically I'm kind of struggling to keep it in, in place it's very very light and but uh, uh, yeah the video the video transmission uh, is pretty good even if I'm inside the house um, so I uh, can't complain about that and uh, the controls again I need to get used to it uh, but uh, probably I'm gonna change the settings uh, the uh, to be a little bit more snappy uh, in Benaflight but uh, uh, it flies decently uh, even with um, default settings uh, and I'm gonna try also outside so here I am outside uh, unfortunately it's a very windy day so as you can see this tiny whoop is so light I'm actually struggling to uh, keep it uh, on sight uh, it's flying away on its own this um, the battery that I'm using it's not high voltage so does not give enough juice to the motors and uh, yeah I mean this uh, it's probably uh, it's probably good if you use this indoor or at least not on a windy day like I'm doing now but uh, uh, I really wanted to try it real quick and see how it performed but uh, yeah it's definitely way too light to, to handle this wind and here I am dead okay so that was it this was the build of this uh, B-Core V2 uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I certainly enjoyed uh, building this tiny whoop. I'm gonna go and uh, do some tweaks in beta flight, hopefully uh, find some good settings for it and see you in the next video.